All right. Good afternoon, sword friends. Check it out. I almost have a half-assed production value fucking knife channel fucking guy unboxing here with this fucking grid fucking mat thing. But anyhow, got a quick fucking point you in the direction of somebody if uh, you're interested in not sitting through two and a half hours of garbage and getting the shit ass movie just spoiled for you. Check out Shadiversity's channel. I'm sure you all know Shad, our friendly Mormon sword friend down under. But, um, dude, he did, like, an hour and 18 minute fucking, like, just pointing out all the contrivances and plot holes and, like, he almost strokes out a couple times, man. It's good. Like, I definitely recommend checking out Shadiversity's review of The Rise of Skywalker. But that's not why I dragged y'all here today. Today, we got an unboxing. My fancy knife guy unboxing area ten ten bubbles shh sh sh this is a Venor v Victorinox Hunter Pro Alox. This is, in fact, the most expensive pocket knife I've ever purchased. Not that I own. That one goes to a gift that somebody gave me. But as far as, like, actually getting a knife, this is, this is as pricey as it gets. Now, I've wanted this knife for quite some time. I watched a bunch of reviews on it after I ordered it, like usual, but that's all right. I don't think anybody had any real issues with it. Comes in this nice, ooh, it's really cold. Wow, it's fucking freezing out today. Holy shit, that is cold. Wow, I wish I had one of them thermal things so I could, that's fucking frozen. Wow. Nice little uh, silver lanyard with it, too. And some instructions that... Who needs those, right? Here it is. So, I don't own any Victorinox knives because I'm not really into Swiss Army knives. But I saw this one, and I was just like, wow. Alright. It's got a big-ass blade, too. Very nice. It takes some learning to be able to get that open in one fluid motion. But let's check out the centering there. Oh, it's actually much better than a lot of the guys in the reviews. It's a little... A little cockeyed, but not nearly as bad as some of the others I've seen. Oh, no, not bad. Weighs about a little over six ounces, if I'm not mistaken. And that's a fucking big one. Looks a lot, it's a lot bigger in person than it looks like in the catalog or online. Fucking cool, man. Oh, feels pretty sharp, too. Alright, let's give it a give it the old paper test while we're here. Alright. Nice. Not bad. It's actually a really nice edge. One of the reasons I went with this one, apart from, I mean, just the look, I love the look of it and the shape and whatnot, but in my sharpening practice adventures, I stumbled upon a Victorinox kitchen knife and it just took a wicked mean edge. And 
I've since found out that it's supposed to be only 420 stainless, but in the Smoky Mountain catalog, it says it's high carbon stainless. So, I don't know. But apparently it's just regular run-of-the-mill stainless steel. See, it's not a perfect edge. It's nice, but it just is a lot thinner, cheaper printer paper. Let's see if we can get a push cut on it. All right. That's nice and sharp. I'm definitely going to give it a once over. But, all right. Look at that. Let's attach the lanyard while we're out here. Let's make sure we got that right. Another thing I like about it is this pocket clip. How deep that's going to carry. Like, it's not going to be, because a lot of them, they'll, like, stop right there, and you'll have a big-ass portion of the knife hanging out of your pocket. All it's going to be hanging out is literally the, the lanyard. You can actually pop this off, too. You just got to put it on the table and bang on the knife a bit. But I'm going to keep the pocket clip because I like it. So let's attach this here lanyard. Make sure. All right. Yeah, we're going to go like that. Do it this way. Do, 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 Alright, now we're complete. Now it looks like it did in the pictures. Yeah, I really gotta work. It's hard to open one-handed. I mean, you can. It's just not as fluid as most other knives, but we'll get there. Fucking cool, man. Still freezing, too. Like you really need to see the detail on that paracord lanyard, everybody. Oh, I really like the texturing on that. I believe it's made in Switzerland, which is an interesting country in and of itself. Get a little bit of jimping back there. All right. Let's see if there's any blade play. None whatsoever. See, I'm so used to the fucking liner locks like that. But, all in all, it's a pretty knife. That's a pretty knife. Very, very cool. Well, that's about all I got. Wow, I've taken up 8 minutes and 34 seconds of your time already. I'm sorry, this has been unnecessarily long. But... There you have it, my new pocket knife. I'm gonna give her, give her a whirl for a couple weeks at work, and I'll come back and give everybody a full review. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one.